Okay guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be taking a look at Keyshot and how you can add some sort of surface imperfections, you know, things like fingerprint, dirt and all those things onto your model. So I have this model here and we're going to play with two types. So I'm going to show you guys how you can actually add that when you're working with things like glasses and when you're working with more advanced uh, materials. So directly here in Keyshot you can see we have the materials here i'm going to go all the way to glass and i'm going to let's actually start with this one and i'm going to click and drop so now i'm having these two glasses or these two objects having glasses because by default their materials are the same so if you come over to the material tab here let's just double click on one of these materials here you're going to find this section called roughness now it's within your roughness that you can add all right you can add the surface imperfections so what about materials that don't have the roughness because several materials don't have this particular roughness so does it mean you cannot add that no it simply means that you may have to drive them by using a label and we're going to talk about that soon so let's get continued with this so i can show you guys that one so directly here all right so i'm just going to simply double click this and make sure i have this here i'm going to open the material graph so i talked about the material graph some time ago and if you don't know what that is or probably you don't know how to deal with that our link is going to be in the description where you can find how to work with these things all right so now we have this we need to have a black and white texture map so the black and white texture map is what we're going to use to drive the roughness and if you've watched any of my videos before i keep saying this particular thing to all of the artists or texture artists the black informations or the black section of a texture map simply means it's not going to be visible while the white one simply means it's going to be visible link is also going to be in the description just in case you want to see the video where i i think i shared a whole more light about that all right so you need to get a black and white alpha map you know texture map and we're going to drive these things with it so how can we do this so directly here in keyshot i'm just going to go around and find some maps that we can work with all right so there is this set of bump maps here let me just take a look around and see if we can find something all right so we have this fingerprint we have these other ones let me see if we can find something else I'm just looking around to see if we can find something else that we can work with all right so maybe we can just simply make use of the bump map and actually drag that directly in here so if you have your own map let's say you download it off the internet you can use that as well so what i need to do by default once you click on this particular button which is the roughness button you will be able to load up other textures that you have probably downloaded from the internet okay but i'll show you guys how you can do it directly here first before we can you know go through and work with that of the internet so once you click you drag and you go over to the plus sign and you drop then you're going to notice the refraction index of course which is going to be set to 1.0 1.5 that simply means it's glass there's the various refraction indexes then you're going to see this other one called roughness so we're going to click on roughness and just simply let it be so now you can start seeing that we're beginning to have this uh sort of roughness uh feel directly here so the roughness gets to control that particular aspect of the object so you can now see that this object the way it looks now it's way more acceptable that this object is quite realistic when this render is done than when you have just that particular clean stuff because naturally there is no surface that is totally clean there is always this sense of imperfections here and there that you get to find all right so this is how you get to do with uh you know something like this now let's talk about something else all right so let's talk about something else so let's say you have uh, an object so we're just going to go through the second route so we're done with the first one and let's say i have this other one let's double click and make sure that we have it here and let's say we come through and simply click on glass right now i have this thing set to glass and you can notice that we don't have the refractive index so, i mean you can sorry you can notice that we don't have the roughness so you might probably be wondering so how can you attach roughness to this and all that stuff and we're going to talk about that now so you have this object here and what we want to do is very very simple you don't want to work with this but you want to simply work with an uh you know with a surface like this that you know you 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 love and you like all right all right 
Okay, so I'm going to go through and simply drop this about something like that and simply click on OK. So we're pumping up this material graph again because this is where the bread and butter of the entire thing gets to leave. So I'm just going to simply position this here. All right. And now you can see because we're working with glass, we only have the color, the bump and also the opacity. All right. We don't have anything that tells us that we can plug roughness, like I said earlier. So the next thing which we need to do is to launch in a label. So if you click over here, you'll be able to add labels. So we don't want to add label as a texture, but we want to add a label as a material. Now, the best material we can work with is, you know, we can choose to work with the plastic material, but I'd rather go with something more advanced. OK, so we're going to choose or maybe simply switch this to become an advanced material. So how do I get this? So I can just simply double click here and switch it from here and select advanced. Now, the reason why we're selecting advanced is very simple. With the advanced material, you have a whole lot more, you know, parameters that you can play with. I'm not saying you cannot use the other ones. I'm just saying it's way more, you know, it makes a lot of uh, things way easier. So you get to find a couple of other things that you can work with directly here. So with this now, what we're going to do is relatively the same like we did earlier. Let me actually move this over here so you guys can actually uh, have a very good look at what we are doing. OK, so I'm just going to roll this all the way back and position this here so you can have a good look at it. OK, so with this now, what we want to do is we want to bring in uh we want to bring in those textures so there are other ways you can bring in textures you can drag them you can drag them and drop them okay yeah i said drag drop okay so you can <laughs> drag them and drop them and also other ways you can do them is by simply you know clicking here i'm going to go over to this roughness and i'm going to click on this roughness but before i do that i think this is the best time to show you guys so you see if i increase this all the way you can see how rough this material looks all right so you can see how rough this material looks. And if I bring this all the way down, you can see it begins to have some specularity that has been added onto it. So it shines up a little bit more. So I'm going to click here and I have a couple of textures that I downloaded off Google. You can find these textures by yourself and then you can I would click on open. OK, so now by simply clicking on open, this is connected to the roughness, but we cannot see this roughness because we have all these things applied. So if you simply select this and press C on your keyboard, you'll be able to see how this roughness exists on this particular object. All right. So now we'll see in this, we can see that this is making use of a box mapping type to actually apply this roughness to this object. So what we want is not for it to set it up in a box form. But because this is much more of a cylindrical thing, we want it to set it up by using some sort of cylinder. On the other hand, if you have a UV that you've actually cut out for your object, you can go ahead and select UV. All right. So by simply selecting UV, you'll be able to see that this would wrap around the object, taking note of the UV the way it is. So with this finally done, what we want to do now is we want to simply, you know, just simply come back and click this but we don't see what is going on so how do we actually see if i zoom in a bit closer you can actually tell that something is happening but you don't see it now the reason why we don't see this is because if i double click here we have the fuse and we have every other thing happening if i go ahead and you know shoot the fuse all the way to white you can still see that the fuse is playing a huge role so why are we using this what else can we do? What we can do is we can simply click here, then click with this and put it over to this part called opacity. So with the opacity slider there, you will be able, all right? So you will be able to use the map to drive the feel of this particular object. So you can use the map to drive the feel of this particular object, okay? So at this point now, you now have this thing over here. You can come through and you know turn this all the way black you can put the red color so depending on what you want to get at the end of the day you will be able to have fun playing with this and knowing fully well that you can add as much surface imperfections as you want so this is basically how you can go ahead and start all the way from beginning and get something really really nice so we've talked about basically two things we've talked about how you can add these to objects that exist on their own that have 
the roughness embedded in them which means that the shaders or the material support roughness and also we've talked about how you can start off with a material that doesn't have this thing and then go ahead to apply a sub material in form of a label and use your textures to drive them we've also talked about how you can get your textures from uh, you know the textures that exist directly here in keyshot and then we've also talked about how you can bring in your own textures if you want to find places where you can get textures there is a playlist on the channel known as free friday and there we talk about where you can find free models free textures where you can find these models they will be there in the free friday link is going to be in the description and so if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video if there's something like this you guys want me to cover in any other app or let's say maybe you want me to go in depth to explain certain things about key shot the things that you don't understand please put them in the comment section as well and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace